Hi, my name is Darren Mostyn, and in this killer tip session, I want to show you a really cool feature that will literally save you hours. This tip's gonna make sorting through your camera rushes when you get to the edit suite really efficient. So if you wanna save time, this is what you have gotta do. So if we go to the media page, you'll see that we've got all the camera rushes already loaded in. And then back in the edit page, all I've gotta do now is start going through all the camera cards, literally one at a time, going through every single clip, and marking them in and out on all the best takes and any relevant footage that I'm going to need. And I'm going to press F12 here to append that to my timeline and I'm just starting building up some subclips now. So off again on the next one. But the main problem with this is that I have to keep double clicking a clip each time. So double click another one. Then we go. And I've literally got hundreds of these and that's just on this camera card. Then if I go to this camera card, I've got another load and I go to this camera card, I've got another load. So I'm literally going to be double clicking constantly. And so let's subclip another one and double click again and that's no good so double click again and you can really start to see how inefficient this is. I've got to double click to, to get each clip into the source viewer just to mark it to make a subclip timeline of our best shots. So what we want to do is find a more efficient way of doing this and the tool that I need is in the cut page. So we're currently in the edit page, we've got one, two edits down there. If I go to the cut page there's our first edit and there's our second edit. The cut page and the edit page talk to each other. So whatever I do in one is reflected in the other one. So um, what you see in the cut page at the top is always the full timeline. So you, if you've got 200 shots in here, you'll always see 200 shots, okay? Back to the edit page, there's our two shots. Back to the cut page. So let me just subclip the next shot in the same way that we've been doing in the edit page. So I'm gonna do a mark in and mark out there, I'm gonna press F12 again. That's created our third edit, so one, two, three. And just to show you, back to the edit page, one, two, three, so we've still got three shots. So whilst the edit page and the cut page talk to each other, they behave slightly differently. So I find that the edit page is more about fine tuning your edit, whereas the cut page is really about speed editing. It's about building up that basic edit to start with. If you want me to do a dedicated tutorial on the cut page, just leave me a message in the comments below and uh, I'll see what I can do. So let's go back to the cut page and have a look at a much more efficient way of going through all our camera cards. Here's all the clips that we've got to go through. And up here, we're currently looking at the timeline viewer. Okay, if I click on here, this is a source viewer. And this icon here is called source tape. Now if I press this, what happens is all the clips that are in the current bin that I'm looking at are displayed as one clip. So it's one virtual clip. And the order the clips appear here can be changed up here in this menu. So you can go to time code, camera, date and time, or clip name. So watch this as I play through. It's going through each and every clip and you can see the clip icons updating as it travels through. And we're viewing the whole thing as one virtual clip. So the idea here is that I don't have to keep double clicking these hundreds of shots that I've got. So this is a really efficient way of watching. So what I can do now is press play. And it's going through my rushes and I can use my JKL on my keyboard as transport. Yeah. So J is backwards, K is pause and L is forwards. And now I can re-sub clip, I can do a mark in, press play. Let's go a little bit faster and out and then F12 again. And there's my next clip sub clipped. So at the minute we're just looking at one camera card. So if I click here, I can now see all my camera cards. So we've now got 225 clips up here. If I click on this one, we're only looking at 59 clips, so that's one camera card, okay? Go back to master, and you see all your cards. We now have 225 clips. I can click on here and just see this one's only got 12 clips. So here you can see that we've got clips of shorter duration and longer duration. This is where it's really good to use this fast review button. If I press fast review, Resolve will automatically work out how fast it needs to play through a clip for me to preview it at decent speed. So shorter clips will play slightly slower and when it comes up to a long clip it increases the speed that it's playing back so I can review it much faster. So you see here it slows down and we've got a long clip coming up here so it's going to speed up. And there it goes, you see that's going much faster now. So that's the fast review, it's a really good way of quickly viewing your rushes automatically without having to press any controls at all. And I can mark in and mark out at any point on here. And I'm going to press F12 again to append. And there's my next clip down. Over to the edit page just to show you. There it is. So the edit page and the cut page still talking to each other. 
And one final killer tip with the source tape mode. If I want to fine tune an area to mark in and mark out, I'm still sub clipping down, remember, to get my best takes. <laughs> but let's just zoom into here. Remember, this is all of our shots in one virtual clip. I'm going to press mark in here. And obviously, I'm not seeing in very great detail here because we've got 12 clips spread across one virtual clip. If I grab these handles here, this is called scratch trim. And what I can do is pull that and it zooms in, it magnifies into the clip that I'm working on, allowing me to get a very precise mark in and mark out regions. So if I mark out there, scratch trim out to get accuracy, and I'm going to mark out exactly there. So it gives you a really nice magnified view, but instantly. I don't have to change different modes or anything like that. F12 appends that to my timeline. Let's have a look at my edit page and there's the clip subclipped in. So you can see that source tape mode is a really quick and efficient way of organizing your footage. So I hope you found this useful. Please hit the subscribe button if you want more killer tips. Add any comments. I always answer all the comments and let me know if you want me to do a more in-depth cut page tutorial. I also have a Facebook page called Killer Tips DaVinci Resolve which is full of bite-sized tips for colorists and editors using Resolve. My name is Darren Austin. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.